In this short tutorial today, we're going to go through the image trace function in Adobe Illustrator. To start with, we need to find an image that is going to be suitable for us. So for my logo, I'm going to put a hand plane on there. So I'm going to search hand plane and press enter. Now these are all color images, which we know is not suitable. Now you could go up across here and look for uh, some of the options across there, but I'm just going to add black and white into there and it's going to bring me up some black and white images and right here is a perfect image that I like that I'm going to use. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to shift over into Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to make the size of the artboard the size of my lid. Uh, make sure we're working in millimeters and we're using RGB which is the color scheme that we need to use for our laser cutter and click create. What you see there is the white screen is the size of um, our lid. So any, anything that we put on here is going to be our finish size. To put our image that we found before, we're going to press uh, control V and that's going to paste our image in place. On the right hand side here, there is a button called image trace. If we click that, it may work for us, but I like to use the full Padlet. So I'm gonna go up to the window, uh, window button and come down and click on Image Trace. And that gives us a full Padlet on the side here. To access that Padlet, we're gonna unclick the image and then re-click it again. And we can come up to the top here where it says black and white. We're gonna click on that. Now, it's gone through and it's taken all the elements that were being gray and variations of color and now just made a black and white image. Now, I'm not overly happy with how that is. So I'm going to adjust the threshold button here just by clicking until I get something that looks a little bit better for what I'm after. You can see it gets rid of different things. And I'm going to go for about there. Might adjust my paths a little bit. So just adjusting other points of it. It just gives it a little bit more detail. And I'm happy with that there now. So I'm going to click on expand. Now what I've done is I've made my uh, picture image into a vector. So everything on this is now line work. So there's no pixelization or anything like that on there. You can see there's quite a big border around there. So we're going to ungroup this image. Click on group until it ungroups the image. And then we're going to delete the background. What that has done is that's now allowed me when I select this image to select the widest points and the highest and lowest point without the background in there. So I can move this image around. I'm going to group it now and close down the image tab. I can now click and drag and change this image, put it wherever I'd like on my lid. And if I was going to add text, I can add some text in there and then I'd have my finished logo. Go back through this video, take it one step at a time. Once you're happy with what you've done, save your image by going up to file, save and follow the processes. See you in the next video.